My name is Graham Sprague. I'm a certified FileMaker developer at Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri. This video demonstrates sending data from FileMaker to Excel um, and getting data from Excel back into FileMaker using a combination of FileMaker scripts and uh, DDE commands. So, um, first things first, uh, before you can send data to an Excel file, you need to know which file you're sending it to. In this case, I have a container field right here, and I have um, this button. All it does is uh, inserts a file by reference, um, and uh, it asks you to specify the file when you click the button. So, if you go back into browse mode, I'm going to select my workbook, which is open right here. Um, and then uh, I have some DDE commands which I'm going to send to this file. Um, I have a FileMaker script, and first uh, it copies the data in this field, then asks, um, using this command here, asks Excel to select a given range, in this case R1C1, row 1, column 1, which is right here, and then asks Excel to paste data. So I'm going to click Send. There's my data. So let me clear this. We can also send data to a named range. I have a named range in here called data. There it is. So if your parameter for select uh, doesn't contain a row and column designation and, and instead it contains a string, Excel will treat it as a named range and try to find a match for it. So let's try that. There goes my data. Now um, we can also get data out of Excel. So if we throw a value in row 1, column 1, and then we run this, it'll select row 1, column 1, and copy it and pull it back to FileMaker to get in this field. There we go. And also, we can do that on an entire named range. So the data that I sent before into my named range will be selected and then copied and sent back. Like that. Let's take a look at how it works. First we copy the data. This script here just goes to that goes to the data field and copies it. Then we set a variable to the file reference that we inserted. And then we call send DDE the then we call the send DDE execute script step. And if we look at that, um, we're sending to the service called Excel. We're specifying a file name, which is our variable that we've set up here, which is just the stored reference to the file. And then here we're asking um, it, we're asking it to get commands from the DDE command 1 field. And that field is right here. This is DDE command 1. You'll notice that um, there's brackets separating um, each command, and uh, anytime we're passing a parameter, it has parentheses around it, and the value uh, being passed is quoted. So let's take a look at the get script. Rather than copy data, this time um, we're going to be pasting data. So this works uh, the same with the exception of the uh, the copy portion being left out and being replaced with a paste statement at the end. We set our variable dollar sign file to a reference, um, the reference that we have stored in the container file. We call our DDE execute script, uh, script step, and um, we call Excel service again. We specify the file again, like before, using the file the file variable we have set up here. And this time we're calling. Um, we're asking it to use commands from uh, DDE command 2 field.
and that's this field here. So that's it. That concludes sending data to and receiving data from Excel using FileMaker and DDE on Windows.